Hello, thanks for joining us today. My name is Connor McKissick. I'm a solutions engineer here at Harris Geospatial, and I'm going to be demoing and going over Envy's crop science. In our first release of Envy Crop Science, we focus on locating and deriving statistics at an individual plant level for a single point in time. This enables users to monitor the health of individual plants, to more accurately model crop yield, and to easily perform on-site research. This included tools to find hotspots in your field, count crops in your field at an individual level with high accuracy, and calculate the metrics of your crops to find the health of individual crops or just the overall health of your field. Analyzing individual plants often requires the use of fine-scale imagery collected with unmanned and manned aerial platforms. However, users who need to analyze cereals and other broadacre crops often cannot justify the cost of these collections. These users are now moving towards the use of satellite imagery with a moderate spatial resolution and frequent revisit time to overcome this financial gap. To address the needs of these customers, we have expanded the capabilities of MV Crop Science to include analysis at a broader scale and within a temporal time series. This release includes some new exciting features such as create zones, find developing hotspots, and zone metrics. These new features locate developing areas of concern within a field or across a region. They also look at the statistics associated with large homogeneous regions within an image. For example, we created a new tool to automatically delineate management zones. All of the spatial spectral statistic tools that were available in a previous release will work in conjunction with the new Create Zones tool as well. Also, to take advantage of the frequent revisit times made available by today's satellites, we expanded the Hotspot Analysis tool to utilize time series data. The new Developing Hotspots tool looks at current demos pairs of images and identifies areas with significant changes over time, which I will demo here now. It's also good to note that with the release of our new crop science, we also have our release of NV 5.5 that allows you to have the NV model builder. Uh, this is extremely useful if you're doing batch mode or don't want to program. This allows you to string together custom tasks that way, especially all these crop science tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a demo. For today's demo, I'll be walking you through the Find Developing Hotspots tool. For this specific example, we created a model to extract statistics from temporal images and find the developing hotspots in a later image over a large scale county. I started the model now and I'm going to talk through it because it takes about 90 seconds to finish. The data we use for this example is free open source croplands data layer that was created by the USDA and George Mason. It is basically a classification image of the United States of what crops live where and what they are. This can be accessed via the website Cropscape if you want to try and test this out yourself. The raster images we used in this example were Sentinel-2 imagery collected before and after a major hailstorm here in Colorado. Essentially what the model is doing here is extracting statistical information from our rasters and combining that with statistics from our cropland data layer. We are then running one of Envy's new vegetation spectral indices called the Modified Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index 2, or MSAVI 2. We are then applying a 100 meter buffer around our pixels to threshold only the top and bottom percents. So basically, we are looking at only extreme changes in our vegetation. So that means super rapid growth or super rapid devegetation. The output of our model is going to be a classification image of our developing hotspots. Red is going to show the rapid decline in vegetation health, and green showing rapid increase in vegetation health. Our model is also extracting statistics from our data to give the user a scorecard per se, showing how one field ranks up to others surrounding it. So if you're a farmer and you have a neighbor farmer next to you, you can compare your crop field to him and say, hey, mine's more healthy than yours, you need to water your crops. This should take just another 10 to 20 seconds to finish, and you'll be able to notice in our output, there's going to be a large red streak that's going through the middle of our image. Uh, this pertains to that large hailstorm that ran through here and destroyed a large area of vegetation. So we have our free crop data layer from our website right here. We have our before imagery. 
our after imagery, and then we have our developing hotspot that we just produced from that model. As you can see, that red streak going through pertains to our hailstorm that was very devastating to a large scale area. Some important things to note about this new release are that with MV Crop Science 1.1, analysts, crop scientists, agronomists, and GIS professionals can click the mouse just a few times and quickly generate management zones, derive spatial statistics, automatically identify emerging areas of interest, and produce report-ready graphics. These new tools are also scale agnostic as well. So whether you have a small individual field in one area or a large area field scattered over hundreds of acres, you can still derive useful information from our product. Also, combined with the recent release of NV5.5, users can also take full advantage of the eight new vegetation indices as well as the capabilities mentioned previously with the new NV modeler. That allows you to easily create custom workflows for analyzing agricultural data. I want to thank everyone for watching today, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our website, harrisgeospatial.com, and to download the new versions of NV5.5 and NV Crop Science 1.1. Thank you.